I get people coming up to me all the time saying, oh, I'm not talented like you mm -hmm. because what I do is, is so visible and it's, 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 it's public or whatever. And I honestly, I look at people that, that uh, I look up to in my life, mentors and, and my wife, and the gifts and talents that they have, and I'm at I'm in awe. You know, like we're the last people to leave church every Sunday because my wife will be talking to somebody, but she has this ability to connect with people and listen to people in a way that that I don't. You know, and and other people, their generosity, like the gifts gifts are abounding, and everybody has mm -hmm. a gift. You know, at least one. In fact, there's. There's a quote that I love from Amasa Potter, where she's talking about what she heard the prophet Joseph Smith say uh, one time about gifts. She said, I remember the prophet arising to preach to a large congregation in the grove west of the temple in Nabu. He stated that he would preach on spiritual gifts. Joseph stated that every Latter-day Saint had a gift, and by living a righteous life and asking for it, the Holy Ghost would reveal it to him or her. So, you know, as, as you might sit there and think, okay, like, I believe that. I believe that there are lots of gifts out there, but I don't know what mine is. That quote is a great invitation to, to ask, to seek, you know, to rely on the gift of the Holy Ghost to, um, to find what those gifts are. And I think you might be surprised at what those gifts are.